this episode, I want us to talk about Hizo Hizo, particularly the popular SABC TV show that aired some years ago and it was very, very big. And this particular show right now, I wanted to talk about it and I thought this was worth our time talking about it. It's the reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos if it's the first time over here. Do be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I will see you over there. Now, first off, I want us to watch a certain video that I saw on a podcast. Okay, so they were having this podcast and the thing that's, that fascinates me about this particular video that I want to talk about is that it goes alongside something that I spoke to Timber a few days back, if you remember that video. I'm going to play you that video of what he said in that video. But also, I'm not just going to play you that video of what he said. I'm going to play you the main video and I'm going to show you exactly where I got it. Actually, yesterday, this was my browsing. I actually just left the tab open. When you scroll down, you will see right there, this was the recommendation. So just for reference, this is the channel that actually has that. You can see they have a lot of celebrities that come and they talk to them. So this is the recent episode that we saw. It's called Cold War TV. <laughs> now i'm not interpreting that but i'll tell you what he is saying the reason being my my the laptop audio is a bit messed up right now so i cannot bring it into my recording and actually just react to as normal i i'm just gonna have to edit it the way that i wish to make video i can't just react to it because it's just not playing audio for some reason but i move this video and i'll come back to what he said in relationship to what you heard in that particular podcast they knew that if i speak kids would listen the influence is there why not use your popularity to encourage young people because mm -hmm. young people are going through a lot um, the fact that they are busy uh, uh, doing funny things in schools, messing around with the teachers, um, it simply means they just need direction to do the right thing. Because yeah. I remember one thing that was said by Ubaba Uton Matera. Uh, he was on a show called Take Five. I was in, in KZN at the time. Mm. He said, young people, the fact that they have the energy to do the wrong thing, it means they need direction uh, 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 they need a, an older person to just come in and encourage them so that they will start doing the right thing because they already have the energy to do things. Mm. If they don't know what to do, they'll do the wrong thing. And Brother Moses' words, he says it is so important to have positive role models, particularly in, in the youth's eyes, whether it be in high schools or in the public just in general, but to have role models out in society. That's what the Christian role is supposed to be to be a model of some sort out there that's actually what the bible actually meant when it says faith without works is dead it wasn't talking about salvation it was talking about mainly the subject matter of people not being active in their community and the interesting part of what he is saying is exactly what james was referencing to is that people had stopped being active in the community They'd stop trying to be a motivation for a positive. And you can hear, according to, according to Chester, as we know him, <laughs> he says they started getting invitations into the schools because the, the, the kids were emulating what they were seeing on television and they were taking it for real. Now, yes, the youth may be disobedient and being out there wilding and stuff like that but now they had had a certain formula being easy, easy 
and they act that user user character out. He says that in in one part of the interview that, um, like I said, I'll leave it in the description, but you'll have to hear Zulu if you're going to hear it, or I did show the name. He says someone had even written the name Chester. Now, being Chester not being his name, Chester being the character that he played, Chester represented the rebellion that he liked to emulate. And that's what that person that he met kind of represented. We all need role models in some form. The problem is that people tend to learn from the wrong people or from wrong things. Even when I was in high school, there were wrong influences. I had some of the worst influences out there. Now, the things that influenced me, I might have not thought them that big of a deal, but looking back now and looking at where they almost landed me, wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, I, I was one of those people that, you know, yeah, you know, school is what's what. This <laughs> was. It will great will greater you at how great it will greater you into small little pieces of carrot. It will leave you useless. It will render you useless. Because you're listening to these people that you don't even know. You don't even know where they stand. You don't even know what their position is on in life. And you're just emulating. It's so important, it's so crucial. This is one of the things that I actually mentioned when we went with Synergy. Uh, uh, recently, I think about two weeks back. It's, it's, the, it's the hardships that the youth have to deal with after whatever influences they've had. It's that you make a decision, you must know the world has no soft spot. I just thought it was quite interesting to hear from someone that was playing the character, listen to people that were convinced of a character. Now, he himself might have had his difficulties and stuff like that, uh, and things that he used to, uh, people that he used to emulate himself. That's a different subject altogether. You know, we're still making individual decisions to be the people that we end up becoming. But there are people today that don't have an educational background because when they were supposed to be in school, they messed it up. There are people today that made decisions to say, you know what, I'm not going to do that because they felt they were smart enough to handle it. And when the world deals them a card, they can play those cards. They discover that they cannot, or it's harder or difficult to talk about those particular cards. Yesterday, we were talking about success with one of my friends, and we dealt with this particular thing. When you talk about success, you have to be very careful because your version of success is actually another person's ease. Uh, he was talking about how uh, his schoolmate used to look at him as if he school for him was so easy. And yes, school might come easy for him after he studies and he does his best and it's, it comes out looking all good. But what they see as is, he has a difficulty in, in, in another area. And so your version of success to another person is actually cruise through the field. But they too have their own area of difficulty. We end up focusing on what we want from other people's lives than to realize where am I positioned individual. And that's why motivating the kids right, therefore, is supposed to give them. It's supposed to remind them you work from where you are. Stop trying to add these people's little insects of life into your life because you might actually add the wrong type of thing. Thought it was quite interesting and to remind us be the salt of the earth on a daily basis and to remember your life is ministry as we mentioned in that video with Brother Moses. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it also in the description. It's Ricky, take that as your way to be reminded you are the salt of the earth.